to see. Can you turn the lights on? If I yes, I will need a flashlight. So now, right now, it's recording what I'm doing. Okay. So, so tell me if you see the smiley face. Perfect. So we're gonna do a conversion of Matt's number. Uh, so he weighed a sample of what? Silicon. All right, and how much did it weigh? I haven't even, well, if you turn off the light, then you won't see the paper. It will be too dark for it to see the paper. Oh, the light on the laptop. It's already on. We're just going to have to work through it. For this, can you see it? What works better? Go ahead, turn off the lights. Yeah, let's see. Go ahead. How is that? Is that okay? All right. Interesting. So we have 5.4 grams of silicon. And this sample, so this is a huge sample, right? So it can, it's basically a whole pile of silicon atoms. We're just reviewing what we did yesterday. So right now we want to figure out how many silicon atoms we have, right? So our goal is how many silicon atoms. So somehow we have to go from the mass of the sample to how many atoms. Same thing with the M&Ms. You have your pile of an M uh, the M&Ms, you have a weight, so you're going to divide by the weight of one M&M. So same thing, we're going to divide by the weight of one atom. The first thing we're going to need to do is make the weights relatable, because this is in grams, and the weight of one silicon atom is what? This is a time for the PRX table. AMU. So grams and AMU need to be converted. So we're going to convert this amount of silicon to the same quantity expressed in AMUs, atomic mass units. So we're going to do that by understanding that one AMU equals what? You have this written down already. And that's in grams? OK, so 1 AMU equals 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. This here never changes. Never changes. Just like 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters, or 12 inches equals a foot. This never changes. Okay, I will not write this low anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to put that information in here. Oh, I can't turn the page either. Okay. So, again, I want grams to cancel, so I'm going to put the grams down here. So 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams is equal to 1 atomic mass unit. So now if I do the math, which someone will do for me, I hope. <laughs> Excuse E times 10 to the negative 24th. Don't talk to me calculator language. Oh, wait, no, no, not negative. Oh, positive 24th. Okay, thank you. Wait, is that correct? Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right, that makes sense. So that's an AMUs, right? Atomic mass units. It's off the screen? Yeah. Is it on the screen? Uh, kind of. More? All right. See, I'm finding the, so I can't go past. Yeah, I don't try to make, this is complicated enough. 
<laughs> okay, so now that I have the amount of atomic mass units, all I have to do is divide by the mass of one silicon atom. So let's bring this over. 3.28 times 10 to the 24 atomic mass units, right? Again, I set up my grid, and I'm going to divide it by the mass of one silicon atom in atomic mass units. And that is what? 28.09 atomic mass units. Oh, I keep writing this negative sign. Sorry. It's stuck on me. Okay. So now I have 3.28 times 10 to the 24 divided by 28.09. And how many atoms is that? Silicon atoms. Thinny. So if you go through this, you will see, so whenever you do these problems, I love having my students check their work. Everything should cancel. See how now atomic mass units is left over? See here how number of silicon atoms is left over? So this is how you convert to the number of atoms. Now I'm going to stop this. Hey there. <laughs>